Hi everyone, welcome to my craft room. Today I'll be making this salt and pepper shaker holder. I saw this one on Amazon. It was $19.97 and I thought I can surely make that. The supplies I used was a crate from the Dollar Tree and two mason jar salt and pepper shakers, a hot glue gun, wood glue, antique wax by Waverly, a tape measure and pencil, and those little wood blocks from the crafter square section at the Dollar Tree. A hacksaw, needle nose pliers, and a nail file. Yes, a nail file. I use some scrap wood, but you can always use the five gallon uh, paint sticks from Home Depot or Lowe's. So the first thing I did was measure my box and it was 15 centimeters long. So I marked the middle of the box and then I measured three centimeters in from the crate and then three centimeters on the other side. And that's how I, I marked my gap. And the gap meaning that's what I'm gonna cut out. So I cut one of the gaps off camera so I would be able to explain how I did it. I took the hacksaw and just, you know, sawed off those two lines and then with the X-Acto knife, I'm carving out, you know, cutting out the rest. So I just cut, cut, cut and then popped it out. And then there was, there it is, and I, I <clears throat> there was that little piece there and I just took the needle nose pliers and just popped the rest out. And then with the X-Acto knife, I carved out the bottom there and made it straight. Now with the nail file, I'm gonna file the sides down and get those gaps as even as I can. It took me a little while to get it straight, but I finally got it. And then on the edges there of the corners, I just took my nail file and rounded off the corners there so it didn't get so So I wanted the salt and pepper shakers to be raised a little bit and that's why I'm adding the scrap wood. And then I'm gonna take those little wood square pieces and I'm gonna make a little nook for the salt and pepper shakers to sit in. 
So here I'm just gonna glue down the pieces that I cut onto the bottom and then I'll glue down the little square pieces. Once that was done, it was time to put on the antique wax, and that's what it looks like. So I'm just going to apply the wax and wipe it off, and I made sure and get all inside, all the grooves I did inside, the bottom, all the way around the outside. And here it is, all done. For the second DIY, I'll be using these planks from the Dollar Tree. And I use some nautical rope, some Mod Podge, antique wax, some scissors, and a stapler. I'll need some letter stickers. So the first thing I wanted to get started with is to apply the wax onto the planks. I ended up using four planks instead of three. Once that was done, I was ready to apply my stickers. I wanted it to say, my garage, my rolls, but I didn't have enough stickers for that. So I ended up uh, putting my shop, my way. <laughs> and yes, this is for my husband.
going to add some Mod Podge on the top of the boards or the planks to seal the letters on. Now I want to hang my sign. So I'm placing them where I want and then I'm turning them over. And then I'm going to glue the nautical rope right onto the back of that. And I'm just measuring here to make sure that they're even. And I just took my time.
And here it is, all done. I sure hope my husband likes it as much as I do. I have it hanging here in the kitchen, but it'll soon be in the garage. And here is the salt and pepper shaker holder. I made this for my son, but I do have it sitting by that tablet holder that I made. I think it went well together. I'll link that video down below, just in case you would like to make a tablet holder. Thanks for watching. Bye.